Shane McKenna was out on bail on a manslaughter charge, living out of his van here in Rangeland Plantation because the condition of his bail was that he did not return home to his parents. On Monday, after missing a court date, an arrest warrant was issued. Two days later, a state police tactical team went to arrest McKenna when he was shot and killed by a state trooper. They gunned him down. They gunned him down. They murdered my son. Lori and Mark McKenna lost their two youngest sons nine months apart. In December, they witnessed what they insist was the accidental shooting of their youngest son, Drew, by his older brother, Shay. And we went to court and we told them it was an accident and we didn't want like charges brought against our son, Shay. And he loved his brother. They loved each other. They were very close. Neither parent can understand why their son wasn't given a chance to surrender to the court. They say he only missed his court date because no one could reach him. And then all of a sudden he misses a court date and this is what takes place. Even his lawyer says it's, it's unheard of. State police say McKenna was seen carrying a firearm, violating his bail. Police say a crisis negotiation team advised McKenna he was under arrest. Police say he exited the van where he was hiding, wearing a ballistic vest and carrying a rifle. And Trooper Jeffrey Parks confronted and shot McKenna, who died at the scene. The Rumford Police Department came up and notified us that he was shot and killed by a SWAT team. This is not a cold-blooded killer. He's a sweet, kind young man with no record. And they gunned him down. The Attorney General's office will investigate the police use of deadly force, but the parents say they already know the likely outcome. They'll probably say that it's justified. It always seems to be justified. They were the only ones up there, and they'll just, you know, make up whatever story they want. I'm already missed my son Drew every day. And now I lost another son. This is too much for a family to endure. The Attorney General's office will determine if this shooting was justified. In at least the last 30 years, that office has found every police use of deadly force in Maine justified. In Rangeland Plantation, Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News.